Hey guys, look at what I'm gonna try today. I'm gonna try some soap nuts. Now y'all, this is also part of Ayurveda. And if you haven't even heard of it, that's okay because it can be used as a natural shampoo and even for laundry detergent, but I'm not gonna use it for laundry. I'm gonna use it for my hair, to wash my hair from time to time. All right, these soap nuts, if you like my videos, you have to hit subscribe because that's the only way to find out when I post a new video for this one year of Ayurveda challenge. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. They actually have, they come with outer shell and sometimes they sell it to you with an inner um, seed. But the inner seed doesn't matter, it's the outer shell that gives you the sudzing effect or it actually contains the saponins that are responsible for cleansing your hair and cleaning your hair and the outer shell is what you really want. So let's open it up and get to it. All right, so they give you a bag here as well that uh, you can use for laundry detergent and I guess for even if you want to strain the, strain the liquid that you might have or otherwise. So let me show you what this soap nut <laughs> outer shell looks like. It looks like so. All right, so these are all, they all came de-seeded. There's no seed in these, it's just the outer shell. As I said, that is... Uh, beneficial for our hair and it's necessary to make our shampoo, our DIY shampoo. So I'm gonna grab about 10 of these. All right, so that's all I'm gonna use for now. Of course, you can make a bigger batch. This is the recipe that I'm gonna use for now because I wanna try, I just wanna try a small amount and see if I like it, and then from there, I'll make a bigger batch, okay? All right, so now that I have my seeds, I am going to add my water. All right, so that's water that has been boiled and now it's cool. So it's cool water that I'm putting in here. You can actually see the suds created already. Look, it actually is creating bubbles already. And it's, I haven't even done anything yet. So I'm gonna leave this to soak for 24 hours. So this is 24 hours since I've had this soaking and you can see it's very, very soft. And a lot of the saponins that are responsible for sudsing. <laughs> I'm going to blend this and make a concentrate. Oh my gosh, do you see that? This is my first time doing this guy. Look at that thick. This is so thick. Y'all, that's what we're gonna use to wash our hair. So what I have to do, just for this to liquefy again, I would leave it for a couple hours to liquefy. That is amazing. Look at that, it smells so good too. Guys, look at that. That is pretty cool. This is, so, look at how thick this is so we're gonna use that to wash our hair but it has to liquefy first because this is serious stuff my finger my fingers feel so clean just using this right here you can actually feel like there's no oil residue i had oil on my hands before because i use coconut oil on my face and my finger you could actually feel it remove the oily residue from my fingertips that is pretty neat so i'll see you back in a couple hours all right, so it has been two hours since I left the blended soap nuts to rest and the foam to liquefy again. So here it is, guys. That's what it looks like after you've blended it and it has like liquefied again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to strain this 
and you can store this in your fridge until you are ready to use and it will be fine it doesn't it takes weeks before it spoils so you should be fine leaving it in the fridge if you do not feel comfortable leaving this in the fridge you can freeze it strain this or you can use a muslin cloth So this is soap nut concentrate. Isn't that amazing? This is gonna be the base for our shampoo. I am so excited. As I said, you can keep this mixture in the fridge and use a little as you want as you can and use it a little at a time in order to wash your hair so I'm going to give you a recipe to actually make your own shampoo from this hey so we are about to make our shampoo so let's do this so I have my jar here to make my shampoo I have my soap nut liquid here and also I have some some aloe vera juice here so I'm going to combine them together and the ingredients will be below in the description box okay all right so let me grab my jar I'm going to combine it all my soap nuts liquid my apple cider liquid essential oils you can add lavender rosemary and some lemon essential oil all right so I'm just adding rosemary for now Going to just cover this up and shake it. Shake it. You're gonna keep shaking until you get a desired liquid. All right, so my hair is damp. This is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to apply it to my hair. Of course, you can add it to an applicator bottle to make it much easier to apply, but I can't find one right now. So I'm gonna just pour it into my hand and apply it to my hair and my scalp, okay? All right, yeah, so let's try to apply this mixture. Probably gonna be a little bit messy. I think this is enough for only half my hair. So I have a feeling I'm gonna make some more. Remember the strict instructions and the my hair. All right, so I'm gonna do my scalp first. I will do the length of my hair. I don't expect a big sudsing action, so I'm gonna apply it now to the length of my hair. So I'm just gonna pour. This is what my hair looks like after I've used it. Well, while it's in my hair. And you can see it kind of creates a little bit of a suds. Not particularly, but this is the aloe with the rosemary essential oil and the soap nuts in it. So that's what it looks like so far. So just in case there's anyone who wanted to see what it looks like when I put it in my hair, that's what it looks like. All right, so I'm almost finished, and then I would leave it in for about half an hour, and then I would rinse it out. All right, so I rinsed out the soap nuts and aloe, and y'all, my hair feels, ooh, feels, ooh. <laughs> Just wet me my face, my lips. Okay, my hair feels clean and moisturized, but not stripped. So I followed up with an apple cider vinegar rinse as well. And yeah, this is what it looks like. My hair feels really voluminous, <laughs> yeah? Because usually my hair feels kind of flat when it's washed. 
um so let me show you all what it looks like how All right, so I'm gonna let this dry until tomorrow because I did an apple cider vinegar rinse, so I want this smell to sort of dissipate. And then tomorrow I'm gonna apply my new fenugreek spritz with aloe, some MSM, and some oil, and that's what I'm gonna use tomorrow, and I'm excited to use it again. All right, uh, yeah, so that was me doing the DIY shampoo with soap nuts. Someone definitely wanna ask me how often will I use this? I will not use this soap nuts uh, because I think it's very strong. I'll use it every other week or maybe once a month because I have some other things that I'm using in between that. I really wanted to try it out to see how it works for me. And instead of the soap nuts, you can also use the Aretha powder or the Aretha powder, which is also soap nuts powder. Hey, so yesterday I did the soap nuts. I finished off with an apple cider vinegar rinse after I used it. And now I want to show you what my hair looks like the next day without any product. Well, the only thing was the apple cider vinegar. <laughs> and I want to show you, before I style it, I want to show you what... It's really really soft it's not it doesn't feel it feels like slightly moisturized although I only have apple cider vinegar in it uh, I supposed to also help with removing any mineral deposits from hard water in my apartment because I have hard water in my apartment yeah but overall I like it my hair looks really full and voluminous from using it and uh, I have nothing in it but apple cider vinegar so if you want to try out these soup nuts feel free to try it out and let me know what you think and what your results are and if you like how your hair feels it feels extremely soft i don't even know i mean i like it i really do love it i really do love it